Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 337, where we look at the twin combo brought into Standard and wonder if R&D has gone crazy. Yes, crazy. Oof. First, though, we need to look at the Felar Guardian and the importance of this cat. What is this cat? Apparently, it's some type of a tiger puma with horns. I am referring to this from now on as the combo cat. There's something about Feldar that create combos. The original Sovereign, 40 life. Win the game. EDH combo. Throw in a little bit of a flash deck. Everybody will be unhappy. The Cub breaks down combos. The Umbra, if there's a combo, post it. But it does look like the cat. But all three of these cats have something to do with combos. The new one... So for those of you not familiar with the dark days of Splinter Twin, Splinter Twin was a card that changed the way that Modern was played. You either had to play super fast to beat this combo, or you had to fear tapping out because of this combo. This combo changed the way that control decks won the game. It was often played in a red-white-blue deck. It has a three casting cost part and a four casting cost part. Very, very solid. It attacked you with infinite creatures by creating one and then another and then another and then another with the ability from Splinter Twin. There's two different enablers that were there, the Deceiver Exart or the Pestermite. And with blue to back you up, it was a very difficult combo to beat. The new combo has a three casting cost part, a four casting cost part, and will be played in standard, where it's much more difficult to take out combos than it is in an older format, where you have more efficient removal and more answers. This is going to be crazy. I'm not saying that it can't be stopped, but it's going to warp the format to where if Shihili has come out and you do not have an answer and your only answer is to the Guardian, you cannot tap out the following turn. It's going to strategically change the way that you have to play and build decks for the entire environment. A bunch of people have asked me, should I jump in and buy this combo right now? And I am actually suggesting that you only buy it if you must qualify for the Pro Tour. Because this is going to be a dominant deck archetype out there. But otherwise, I would build a deck designed to beat it and avoid the chance that both of these cards could crash in price if either part of the combo is removed. They've already spiked, especially Shahili, and there's a huge chance that we could see a banning here that strips this deck out of standard and then you could lose hundreds of dollars or at least two hundred dollars on your deck turning into absolute nothingness overnight it is extremely important in standard that you have answers to this deck many of the answers that are available are in red white blue it would be nice if we were in Modern, where Pithing Needle is a first-turn answer that you can just then spend your time playing your strategy and maybe protect your Needle. But in Standard, we have much more limited answers than we do in Modern. Negate and Shock are both very strong cards here, but they require you not to tap out. Stasis Snare, same thing. Disallow, Spell Queller grasp of darkness the interesting thing about this is the strong answers that i see most of them are in red white and blue so we're going to see decks designed to beat the combo that also play the combo which makes for a really interesting to me waiting game but dryly boring from a commentary or viewer perspective game going back and forth trying to find the right instance in order to play the combo and a secondary win condition in those decks where we fight back and forth to see if the secondary win condition, which one is better. If you have particular answers to this deck, especially in green, black, and even red, please post those in the comments. That is what's going to be most important over the coming weeks is how do you beat this particular combo and what are the best cards for beating it? 
For further reading about building the combo, I would check out Patrick Chapin's article from about a week and a half ago over at Star City Games. Patrick Chapin is one of the absolute best individuals out there at exploiting advantages in environments. Um, I've met him once or twice at events. Very, very bright guy. I usually don't suggest stuff that is behind a paywall, but if you're ultra competitive and you want to build the combo, take a look at this article, and I'm sure there'll be a follow-up article out there in the next week or two. This article was posted before the ban announcements, so there's still some improvement that needs to happen, and this deck is going to evolve over time. But my question to you again this week is, how will you beat this combo, and will you actually play the combo in standard? For the latest technology revolving around awesome cats, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. This is my first video done on a laptop that uh, I picked up to do videos while traveling, and it was paid for partially by patrons of the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I also appreciate the sponsorship that I have over at chess.com. I'm going to be doing some more strategy videos that talk about um, how we can get better at games, what you learn from playing a classic game that applies to magic. And until next time, choose your cards wisely.